okay so this video is going to be a little different um i have been diagnosed with bell's palsy and this side of my face is pretty numb um it's a if you don't know what that is it is a facial paralysis that comes on um after um some sort of virus or something or it can come on by stress or whatever um so i'm about to eat these noodles these are i've been craving spicy noodles i really want some samyang um carbonara but i don't know how hard it is going to be able to eat these noodles because i tried cup noodles the other day and it was pretty hard as you can see um it's not I don't have full function of this side of my face and I just want everybody to know I wanted to spread awareness for Bell's palsy because it's annoying um, a lot of people get depressed um, it's only been it's going on two weeks for me and it's it's kind of an it's 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 hard to like at the end of the day um, my eye waters a lot my mouth gets like my speech will get really slurred because I've been you know trying to move it all day but today I have hot and spicy firewalk molten chili chicken um it's probably too spicy but if I can't get through this I have on my little stove in my camper because I'm still in a camper from Hurricane Ida um some regular um, chicken um, ramen so I wanted to give these a try they look really delicious They're like creamy and um, I don't know if you can see they smell pretty spicy I didn't add all the fire sauce to it because I mean who needs with this going on right now who needs a bathroom problem really um, couple weeks ago I did have a colon infection um so this is the first time I've eaten super spicy anything so I don't know I really wanted to try it oh my noodles are boiling for my other ramen hold on one second guys back um all these pop-ups on my phone sorry the quality is not that good all right I want to give this a try and then you see, like, I can't eat like I want. When you have Bell's palsy, it's like, see, if I can't eat a burger, I have to cut it up in little pieces. See, this bite's probably going to be too big. What I'm going to try to get it in there. It's really frustrating. For those of you who has Bell's palsy or has had it, you know, uh, we just need prayers because every day is different. Hmm? <coughs> Ooh, pretty spicy. But they're delicious. Wow. <clears throat> they're really good. Nissen, the one that makes Top Ramen, is the one that, that made this. Mmm. This is good stuff. If you have to substitute, like if you can't find Sam Yang, I need to go to my Asian market. But if you can't find Sam Yang noodles, this is a good substitute. Delicious. My spice tolerance, well, I had COVID about a month ago. And I have about 50%, maybe more like 75% of my taste buds back. But when you see this condition, um... Sometimes it can affect your taste buds or whatever they said, but I'm not really having that problem. But 
yeah this is really good you see how i have to blow it's annoying This is really good. It's like tangy and sweet with some spice to it. Dang. I really like it. I don't know if I'm going to need my other ramen that I'm cooking. I'll probably eat it anyways because, you know, hungry. So, I hope that anyone that's out there that is suffering with Bell's palsy um just keep the faith um stay positive don't fret and don't worry about oh because you can hear horror stories a lot like oh a lot of people don't get their full facial movements back for a long time but um some people do like within a few weeks a month um, just don't give up hope, okay? Don't give up hope, because we will get through this. I mean, this just came on all of a sudden. I've been having so many health problems, and then all of a sudden it just came on, and it's just another smack in the face to me and my family. I'm like, you know, but, but we're getting through it. These noodles are delicious. Um, yeah. Tomorrow's my birthday. So I made a joke with my family. <laughs> it was so hard for me to eat. Um, I said, well, who's coming tomorrow and eat some cake and watch me try to eat a big piece of cake because it's not gonna work <laughs> I have the best family um, they're so supportive um, my teenage daughter is you know she's some but you know like all my family that knows about it like went to my brother's house last night and he's a brother by choice um, he helped us during the hurricane always been my brother always has been not by blood but you know he even made me it's just a certain family that makes you feel comfortable in your own skin you know and that's the type of people you need in your life especially if you're dealing with something like this that's depressing and you know it, it makes you self-conscious about going into public and talking to people you know, but as long as you have a good support system, you'll make it through. Even though it seems like it's just the worst thing in the world, which is the most pretty much annoying thing that I've ever been through. Pretty much. I'd say. <clears throat> Hold on a second, guys. I have to go check on the noodles again. Alright. Oh, nose is starting to run, but these are delicious noodles. I'm gonna have to go buy some more. Got a little Coca Cola. It's even hard to drink things, like, I can't chug it. And I'm the type of person who. Uh, I will, whenever I'm thirsty, I will chug a water, I will chug a Coke, soft drink, anything, okay? And I can't do that. And I'm the type of person who loves to eat. 
put a lot of food up in the mouth and I can't do it I see my eyes watering it's just constantly you see I still have all this left these are good noodles I never would have thought that these noodles would be as good as they are they would probably be even better if I would have added some cheese but I forgot I excuse me guys so like I said don't stress about it I've taken my steroids like I was supposed to and I'm done taking the steroids so I go back to see the doctor and oh excuse me oh my god so I don't know just gotta be patient patience is key trying to look at the camera to make sure I don't look so stupid but who gives a damn I just want to spread some positivity about if you're suffering with Bell's palsy you're not alone mm -mm. you're not alone chef And you will get better. You will improve. I'm sending good vibes to everyone who is dealing with this. Comment down below if you see this video and you're dealing with Bell's palsy as well. I would really like to, I mean, just discuss it. We can, I mean, I would really, if you know more, if you know more about Bell's palsy, then I mean, I don't know much. This is the first time that I've dealt with it. But if there's anything that I need to know, um, I've been doing facial exercises, but they say it's not that good to do at the beginning. Um, you know, if you want to share your story with me, I'll be more than happy to share mine. Well, which I'm trying to share mine right now, but I would really like to speak to you. I mean, let's just share our stories with it because, I mean... So many people get this and so many people don't understand it, you know? And it's very frustrating. A lot of people get depressed, um, give up hope, but we can't do that. We can't. No. There's no giving up hope here. I refuse <sighs> and then with the steroids that I'm on I didn't eat nothing I was sick with uh, colitis for like three weeks ago and I was down and out for like two weeks with that and I couldn't eat or drink, couldn't hold anything down. I didn't have an appetite. So, and then, bam, I get Bell's palsy right after. 
but I have been eating constantly. Could be the steroids that I was on. Because steroids will make you really hungry and moody. But I don't think I've been too moody. I don't know. I have to ask my husband. Hmm. Oh, my nose is like starting to run. <laughs> I'm sorry I keep staring at the camera I just don't want any food on my face you know oh they even have some like that's cabbage Like dehydrated cabbage that you put in there. Oh, hold on, no. I have to blow my nose. I have to. All right. Sorry. My other room and we're done. I'm gonna eat that off camera, I believe. These are delicious. Y'all gotta go out and buy this. Like, not even kidding. I think the dollar stores sell them. So you don't have to go all the way to Walmart. If you're like me, and despise it. <laughs> Walmart, that is. And you have to watch the way when you have Bell's palsy, you have to watch the way that you eat because um, you will bite your lip, your tongue. I had to learn like a whole new way of eating and how to eat, how to keep my lip out of my way crazy crazy and this is unedited this is gonna be unedited raw uncut video my light is shining my lighting in here sucks my phone sucks <laughs> I just thought I wanted to do it just to talk about Bell's palsy and let other people if they see this video to talk about it too if they need to and know that you're not alone. See, my eyes crying so bad. We're not alone. You're not alone. We will get through this. Oh, I think this is too big of a bite. Oh. a bit big. Okay, yeah. Almost done. I didn't think that they would be this good. That's a big bite. I seriously doubt that that's going to go in my mouth.
Oh, one more thing I wanted to add. Um, the pain in my face is kind of, um, like my jaw and everything. A lot of people experience pain in like my neck and stuff. Please let me know if that is a common thing because it is really annoying. Another annoying thing, just to go on top of the rest of the annoying things. But let me know if you're having those issues as well. Because, um, yeah, it is, um, one of my issues. <sighs> my ear, too. It's just, I can't hear too well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Off without biting the side of my lip. Mm hmm. I'd say that's an accomplishment. But, anyways, it took me 20 minutes to eat that bowl which would only take me like 10 minutes okay that goes to show you how how excuse me um, how like um, much of a toll it takes on your eating. You eat much slower, you know, it's a lot of work. But anyways, um, if you're watching this, thank you for watching. Um, if you like to comment, if you have Bell's palsy, please comment down below. Let's show some support for other people and each other. Alright, bye!